Good morning, precious brothers and sisters. Get your coffee. Gather around. It's February 28th, the last day in the month of February. Spring is upon us, 2013. I am going to try something brand new right here on my channel beginning today. Now, and every morning that I can, that it's possible that I come to you. We're going to have our coffee together. Let's do that now. I'm going to come to you. We're going to have our coffee in the morning, but we're going to have some breakfast meat along with our coffee. I'm going to try something new, and I call this the Living Word with Pastor Dave. We are going to have a Bible study, and I will go back over the scriptures with you, and I will be using some apologetics as well. We're going to begin today, brand new, in the book of Acts, chapter 1. Are you ready? Let's begin. All right, brothers and sisters, I will be in the King James Bible. I'm using Bible Gateway, King James Version. Acts chapter 1, go ahead and get your Bibles and turn to Acts chapter 1. Let's begin the study. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the Apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. They returned. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Peter and James, and John, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zealots, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. And in, the, and in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about an hundred and twenty. Men and brethren this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, 
which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Jesus, for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue a Sodema that is to say the field of blood for it is written in the book of Psalms let his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein and his bishopric let another take wherefore of these men which have companied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection and they appointed two Joseph called Barsabbas who was surnamed Justice and Matthias and they prayed and said thou Lord which knoweth the hearts of all men show whether of these two thou hast chosen that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell that he might go to his own place and they gave forth their lots and the lot fell upon Matthias and he was numbered with the eleven apostles all right, on this program I'm using, I'm only allowed 10 minutes, so I am going to talk very quickly, so I apologize, and if need be, I will do a follow-up discussion video. Now, so many uh, brothers and sisters today, that may, they do not believe in the pre-tribulation rapture, because they do not see the word rapture anywhere in the Bible. And let's go over Acts 1. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen here he was taken up caught up uh, and we're talking about Jesus we're talking about the Messiah there nowhere in this uh, scripture is the word rapture but we know that Jesus uh, and this is just one example throughout scripture was caught up or taken up all right let me move on ahead. And when he had spoken these things, referring to Jesus, the Messiah, why? While they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Once again, nowhere is the word rapture mentioned. And... I think we're going to need to do, I don't have enough time, we're going to need to do a follow-up video on what took place after the death of Judas Iscariot. Leave me comments, everyone.